G'day folks, this is our new shed, this is our new 610 cruise about, 150 HOGT. The customer who has purchased this boat is trading in a 2015 Quintrex Trident 610. Now people would say, why would you get rid of a Trident and buy a cruiser about? Well, he is really buying the identical boat from here down. Nothing's changed. Trailer's the same, hull's the same. Okay, his boat's got a 175 Yamaha on the back, four stroke. He's wanted the new 150 HO E-Tech with power steering, auto trim. It's gonna be a big feature, especially in this style of boat, because this boat, has been purchased as a family boat, but still a boat that he can take out offshore fishing. Okay, so as, as I just explained, same hull. We put the electric winch on the front, come around to the transom here, beautiful 150 HOE tech. We've done the white panels on there just to lift it. It gives the appearance that the boat's about nine meters long when you, when you have a look at it in the water. at all. That was 75 k's an hour I was throwing it into corners. The blade hole, you know, we've been down this track a million times, I don't need to keep on emphasising that, but this boat just sticks like shit to a blanket. A 150 G2, more than enough. I think if you were going to put a four stroke on it, you'd have to go to the maximum horsepower of 200. And still not pick up the benefits of the eye trim, integrated power steering and electronic throttle. It's 150 HO is, it's a maxed 150. Now bear in mind in horsepower, they've got a 10% variance. So hypothetically, if this was 10% greater, it'd be 165. If the 175 was you know, 10% less, we've just lost 17 horsepower off of it, haven't we? Well, I used to have a cruise about. Mine was a 560, and I used to always boast to everyone how beautiful the ride was when I'd take it out to Barwon Banks. As an all-rounder, if you had a big family and a lot of grandkids, the cruise about stamps it. So as you can see the layout inside, it is a cruiser. It's not a hardcore fishing boat. We haven't got the checker plate floor that burns your feet in, in summer and a hot summer's day, but it wouldn't with a enemy top like this anyhow. We've got the luxury of the cruise about fittings. We've got underfloor storage here, you know, that's our little Euro warning I'm about to show you. We've opted this boat out with a live bait tank, the removable bait board ski pole. Good innovation from Quintrex. So, okay, up to here. Let's simply open this up. So what's different? Why am I standing up here? How are we gonna sit on this lounge and put our feet down? This is the optional casting deck. So, simply, cushions out, leave them at home. We're going fishing for the day. We've got a casting deck, all these cushions come out. Actually, that cast, casting deck's awesome, Lise. That... Mate, it's another great innovation. Yeah, I mean, that's that's like the Explorers and the, um, the Hornets, Renegade, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Our biggest selling boat. So, then we lift this out. So, if you're going, for, We're for going the family trip, yep. Family cruising day. Leave that at home. And we've got plenty of room. So, I'm going to take my dongs off for this. 610. Look at that. And relax. Sit back, drinking a can of Coke, I suppose. Something else we did with the ordering of this boat. 
to make it unique for another feature was that we uh, got welded rod holders, which come standard on a Trident, but on a cruise boat has the old faithful plastic ones. Why would we go and put them in here? We'll do this in real time, Billy. So there's no delay here. Remember that little black thing we've seen under here? Cushions everywhere. Can't stand on that belt. Okay, so quickly zip this on. What are the poor buggers up the front going to do? They're going to be under shade too. So this isn't a high speed awning. You're not going to be tear arsing around at 75 k's an hour with this on the front. But when you're cruising the canals, the passage, sitting out there having a drink, this is the go. This boat has also got an integrated cockpit cover, which clips on here. Allows us to fold the binnami up, zip it in its sock, neatly around. We don't have to collapse the binnami. Again, travel cover, pontoon cover, call it what you want to call it. This boat is trimmed up to meet everyone's needs.